Ooh, Marcus County reporting. Hey, happy Saturday to you. I'm going to mix it up today. I do a little uh, Yellow Vest 21. Yellow Vest 21. You can hear them in the background. You hear them? Uh, they're out in the street. They're out in the street. We talk about it. We're live from, live from Paris, France. The Gilets Jaunes. Peace, peace, peace. All live. So I'll talk about, talk about a little of that and uh, a little Venezuela update. Uh, Pompeo and uh, John Bolton are going off on the conspiracy. Lying again, lying, lying about Venezuela and uh, a little Bernie, a little uh, Bernie, Bernie versus Trump humor. Hey, you got to treat Bernie Sanders as the front runner now. He's raising more money. He's getting, he's getting his message out there. He's an independent. He's not no Democrat. We'll talk about that. Uh, so let's just check out the yellow vest, right? So week 21, act 21, no retreat, no surrender. There they are, live, live on RT, parading through the streets of, of Paris. What are they? They're par- parading against oligarchy. That's what it is, right? Get out of our country. 21 weeks later, no retreat, right? Yeah, peaceful, peaceful walking. You see the jackets are coming off now. It's getting a little warmer. You know, the, the water cannons soon and the in the dead of the summer are going to be a welcoming sight. Look, Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. This is progress. This is, this is revolution. It doesn't happen right away. We salute you. Viva France. Viva France. So, uh, come back to that in a second. So, what else we got going? His is a great, let's still jump into Bernie versus Trump. This is fucking fantastic. Man. You're going to love this shit. Watch this. You know, I know we all get used to Donald Trump saying weird and crazy things. All of this with the global warming and that, a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. Right now, we're at the cleanest we've ever been. The carbon and all of the things flying up in the air. You know the carbon footprint? But yesterday, uh, I believe he actually outdid himself. If you have a windmill anywhere near your house, congratulations. Your house just went down 75% in value. And they say the noise causes cancer. Donald Trump, that great scientist. I know a lot about wind. A great cancer researcher. Well, Mr. President, nobody other than you in the entire world believes that that is true. I really believe it. What you are doing is deflecting attention away from the reality that we have got to build more wind turbines. We've got to move toward more solar energy. We've got to move away from your friends in the fossil fuel industry. We've got to combat climate change aggressively if, in fact, we're going to leave our kids and our grandchildren a planet that is healthy and is habitable. So, Mr. President, take your absurd ideas and put them back where they came from. Now that's a counterpunch. That's a that's not a counterpunch. That's a that's a full frontal assault. Right? Yeah, we want truth, right? Don't we want truth in the country, right? We're striving, striving for truth. We tr- truth, democracy, right? And uh, you know, there's the president of the United States saying that uh, you know. <laughs> When windmills give you cancer, it's so ridiculous. What other kind of ridiculous things has he said? I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just crazy, man. What else? So, so what else is Trump doing, man? What else is fucking Trump doing? Let's talk about Trump again. Here's it. <laughs> He's doing good on the wall, right? This is RT reporting. This is they got a Trump. Hey. Oh yeah. Trump is getting mellow to the wall, man. For the protest. There's a Trump kite. There's a Trump kite. You gotta keep the Trump away from the bob bob wire so he doesn't pop. Ah, Mr. President. The protest. Uh, so let's talk about uh, let's talk about Venezuela for one second. On Thursday, U.S. Senate uh, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo urged NATO leaders to confront the emerging threats posed by Russian and Chinese military across the globe, but especially in Venezuela. Uh, so if you've if you've heard that uh, Russia and China put Ven- put uh, military troops in Venezuela. To give them a little back, a little supporting, 
from the from the uh, obvious coup attempt by the Americans, right? So their friends, the, Venez- the Venezuelan friends, Russia and China, are in uh, solidarity with their ally, Venezuela. Uh, now, it, it's again, this is getting it's getting so ugly because because uh, I mean, this is what happens when when you lie about a situation, you create a cold war, right? You create military, a military buildup in the country. Why? Not, not because they were afraid. What are they afraid of? They're afraid of the American intervention. They're, they're, they're being threatened by their government is being threatened by a CIA coup. This, this, uh, Juan Guardo, right? Who's unelected. Uh, now he's, he's, uh, he's actually been banned from politics for 15 years and quite possibly facing charges f- for breaking a law there, which ban him from traveling. But nonetheless, Mike Pompeo is threatening, emerging. He's calling the Russia and Chinese military buildup in Venezuela uh, 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 an emerging threat. No, you started it. You're the you're the threat, right? And they continue to lie and cheat and steal about Venezuela. Pompeo addressed the meeting of uh, NATO foreign ministers in Washington, making the Transatlantic Military Alliance 70th anniversary. He raised the issue of Venezuela in response to a question over Moscow's alleged increase in military activity in places like the Black Sea. The, the bottom line about Venezuela is that the Russians have put maybe 100 troops. They've given some, you know, some build up some missiles or shit on the border. And China about the same, too. Now, China has a lot of a lot of investment in Venezuela, right? They have significant investments, and so do the Russians. So it's it's people protecting their ally and their investments in that al- allied country against a, a, a an imperialist, a imperialist nation, the United States of America, because that's who we are. So here's Bolton going full fucking full lie, full on lie. Listen to this. Watch this. John Bolton tweeted this out. The date is uh, April 2nd. The Venezuelan people have broken through Maduro's barricades and have begun moving humanitarian aid from Colombia across the border. Another important victory for interim president Juan Guardo. Uh, So Juan Guardo, again, is the opposition leader. He's the guy who went to school in in, uh, Washington University. He's a CIA-trained plant for the most part. And uh, he's a Venezuelan, you know, operative now, uh, traitor of his own country, right? The Venezuelan people should get their way with him at, at some point. But uh, let's watch. So this is, uh, this is our, you know, national security advisor, John Bolton, the swamp creature of Donald Trump, uh, supporting Juan Guardo, putting out this propaganda that the Venezuelan people have broken through Maduro's barricades. Wow. So he attached a video. So let's watch the video and see what happened. Let's watch. Yeah. Let's, let's watch again. Let's watch again. Smiles. The guy's smiling. See, he's fucking smiling. You're here. All, all dressed in designer clothes. Yeah. Are they, are they, do, these look, do these look like starving people? Is what I'm trying to say. Are they starving? Look, look at the, look at the faces. They're smiling. They're healthy. A lot of fat people. It's not. It's not. Look, it's got a designer haircut. Smiles. They carry. This guy's got a, 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 a probably a better phone than I do. He's got a good selfie stick going on. That. They're carrying personal belongings of some sort. So the video shows the moment Venezuelans broke down the barricade. Let's look at the barricade that they broke down. Oh, Oh, oh my God. They knocked down a fucking... Oh, that was heavy. They need the National Security Advisor to point that out to them. It's unclear what they're doing, really. 
So maybe there, maybe there's some humanitarian aid and trucks parked. There's no police. There's no intervention. There's no violence. There's no nothing. It's just people. Maybe they see some free stuff on the other side of the. You know, the Americans are lining up some free stuff on the other side of the border. Maybe they're going to get some free stuff. Who knows? Who cares? You're giving it to them, right? You get, you're giving them the free stuff, right? So now that maybe they're going to get it. That bridge, by the way, Simon Boulevard Bridge, uh, is, is actually a closed bridge. The bridge is not open now. Wow, do you see that guy's camera? Watch this. I thought they're poor. Why don't you want He can't eat his camera? Look at this camera. Look at the camera this guy's got. He's got a better camera than me. I don't even own a fucking camera, and I'm in America. I'm an American. I don't even got a fucking camera. This guy's got a better camera than me. He's living in he's living in, in, in abject poverty, right? Such bullshit. So there it is. The big the big barricade, the big the big moment. Venezuelans broke down the barriers. You see the bullshit? Do you see the bullshit that can you see the bullshit that's going on here? This is not a humanitarian crisis. This is a money grab, a grab for the oil, a grab to support a a a, a coup, a coup d'etat. This is John Bolton. Right? So what else we got here? What else is on propaganda shit on this guy's page? Look at this shit, man. The legitimate Venezuelan National Assembly called for international support of its decree. The Department of the Treasury has sanctioned companies and vessels facilitating illegal oil transfers from Maduro's regime to Cuba. This is only a first step. Uh, they're, they're sanctioning the shit out of them, stealing the oil. Maduro is the elected is the elected president, and any anybody that they deal with, in this case Cuba, is going to get sanctioned too. He's going to get the full brunt. Look, Pence is on board with it. This is some serious shit, man. So, so here, but really in France, really in France, this is this is the story. This is the story of our time, right? This is the story of our time, right? You see what you see what the Americans are doing, right? They're lying. They're pro it's a propaganda machine. It's uh, it's the supporting corporations, oligarchy. They're supporting the oligarchs, the corporations that swing the flag of capitalism, and and whenever you say what about us, they say you're a socialist. Uh, people love, people buy right into that shit. Right? They keep buying into it, right? That's the weaponized term now. Anything that anything is for the people, any any equal rights or any kind of uh, any kind of uh, economic uh, balance or opportunity for regular people. As socialism, no, 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 socialism. But corporate kickbacks and and uh, tax breaks for the billionaires. That's that. Those aren't handouts. That's that's uh, that's you know business. We're gonna trickle that down someday. That's how that's how it works. Right? We get the, you give us the tax breaks, and we. That money, you know, when we spend it, we'll trickle it down to you, the little people. Right? That's how that works. So we've got to support, uh, you know, support uh, the Venezuelan people right, in their struggle to hold out. The Venezuelan people are actually doing a lot better than than the French are. I mean, the French, the French are are sub succumb, succumb a while ago to imperialism and monopoly and and this is the this is fighting to get out of it the venezuelan people are fighting to not get in it right they're they're actually a, a, a step ahead of the, the curve so um i don't know mark scotty reporting become a patreon i'm doing the uh, q anon killer stuff it's my page right uh i got a, a playlist if you want to follow up on the q anon thing hit if you want to make a one-time contribution you hit this over here paypal and uh, if you want to become a Patreon, an ongoing, ongoing supporter of this channel, trying to get to 300, we need it. We need 300. We got 30. We're almost there. So, so um, what's going on? Here? So, we still got the yellow vest going on. So, I don't know. Marcus Conti reporting on this uh, Saturday. 
Saturday, April 6th, right? Slow news day. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But the uh, yellow vests, that's still the story of the uh, story of our time, right? Yellow vests trying to oust oligarchy from their country 21 weeks later, right? Venezuela is, 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 is doing well in keeping the oligarchs out. They're now siding with, with, uh, with China and uh, Russia, uh, accepting their, their, their help right, to fend off the American lie machine. Right? You got Bernie Sanders making a run. Bernie Sanders real as, real as a heart attack right now. Looking like Trump's going to be a one-term president, man. She's all coming. His chickens are coming home to roost, man. This fucking guy. How many times is he going to let you down? How many times is he going to let the American people down? How many times is he going to lie? And everybody says, oh, no, no, that's Trump. That's his, oh, his masterful mind, his 4D chess. He's playing 4D chess with the world. Oh, he's so fucking smart. I love this fucking guy, man. Oh, he's my man. He's my man. No, oh, he's my president. Well, I don't know, man. I stand on the side of ideas, ideas and uh, policy. And uh, at this point, Sanders has it. I know, I know he sucked. Hillary Clinton's tick. He sucked Hillary Clinton's dick and he 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 rolled over and he let Debbie Wasserman Schultz fuck his ass and and uh I know he's 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 a Russia propagandist and I I know I heard it. I, I hear you, I hear you, but policy. Policy and ideas. So if uh I'm almost ready to make an endorsement. I I'm almost ready to make an endorsement. I'm almost ready to call the election here. Conti's getting ready, man. Getting ready, man. You better guys get better get right on the right side of history, man, because Shit is about to pop, man. Shit is about to go down. Bernie Sanders fucking rising. Marcus Conti report, uh, reporting.